It's Bible time. <gasps> it's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's, it's Bible, Bible time. time. <gasps> it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's, it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helps men write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. We've been reading about God's plan to save us. We all sin and cannot save ourselves. God sent Jesus to save us. He lived a perfect life and died on a cross to pay the penalty for our sins. He rose from the dead and went to heaven. Then the Holy Spirit came to live in believers. The Holy Spirit changes believers. The Holy Spirit gave believers the power to do miracles and the courage to tell others about Jesus. All Christians have work to do, and together we help the church grow. Paul and Barnabas went on a trip to tell people about Jesus. Many people received the message and trusted in Jesus, but some people rejected the message and rejected Jesus. But no matter what happened, Paul and Barnabas kept following God and kept telling people the truth about Jesus. Jesus saves do you remember the names of any of the places Paul went? I scrambled the names of just some of the places Paul went. See how fast you can unscramble the names of the places. This is Antioch. This one is Cyprus. This one is Perga. This one is Lystra. This one is Iconium. Great job unscrambling the names of the places. Paul was dedicated to telling people about Jesus. He traveled to many places so people could hear the good news of salvation by grace through faith in Jesus. Today we're going to read about another trip Paul went on. This time, Paul chose Silas to go with him. Silas was a leader at the church in Jerusalem and he was with Paul in Antioch at this point in history. I'm going to read from the book of Acts. Acts is in the New Testament and is a book of church history. Acts records what happened when Jesus' ministry on earth was finished, how some of the first churches started, and how the truth of the gospel spread. Acts records true things that really happened with real people. While I read my own paraphrase of some of Acts 15 through 18, jump from one side to the other every time I say the name of a place. We will also read a few of the events that happened while Paul was on his trip. You can sit down while I read what happened in those places and try to remember who we read about and something about that person or those people. Then jump up again when I read the names of places. Are you ready to jump, sit, and remember? Let's read. Paul went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. He went to Derbe and to Lystra. A believer named Timothy was there. His mother was a Jewish believer, but his father was Greek. Paul wanted Timothy to go with him. They went from town to town teaching the believers. They went through the area of Phrygia and Galatia. They went through Mysia and went to Trous. Then we left for Macedonia. We got on a boat at Trous and sailed straight to the island of Samothrace. The next day we landed at Neapolis. From there we went to Philippi. We stayed there several days. On the Sabbath day, we went to the river. We thought people would be meeting there to pray. We spoke with the women there. One of them was Lydia. She bought and sold purple cloth. She worshiped God. She listened to us, and the Lord opened her heart, and she accepted what Paul was saying. She and her household were baptized. She asked us to stay at her house, so we did. They met a slave girl that had a spirit that made her able to tell the future. Her masters made money off of her. Paul made the spirit leave her. Unable to make money from her anymore, her masters took Paul and Silas to the city officials. A large group attacked Paul and Silas. They were beaten and put in jail. 
About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Suddenly, there was a big earthquake. The jail was shaken. The doors flew open. The chains fell off all the prisoners. The jailer thought the prisoners had gotten out. Paul called out, We are all here. The jailer brought them outside and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and everyone in your household. They shared the word of the Lord with him and those in his house. He and everyone in his household were baptized. He and his entire household rejoiced because they all believed in God. Paul and Silas went through Amphipolis and Apollonia. They went to Thessalonica. Using scripture, Paul explained the prophecies and proved that the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead. He said, This Jesus I am telling you about is the Christ. Some Jews and Greeks were convinced and joined Paul. Some Jews rejected the message and caused trouble for the believers there. The believers sent Paul and Silas to Berea. The people in Berea listened to Paul's message. They looked in the scripture to see if Paul and Silas were telling the truth. Many Jews and Greeks believed, but the Jews from Thessalonica went to Berea and caused trouble there. The believers sent Paul away, but Silas and Timothy stayed in Berea. In Athens, Paul was upset because the city was full of idols. He told the people about Jesus and his resurrection. He said, God commands everyone everywhere to repent from their sins and turn to him. Some people joined Paul and believed. Paul went to Corinth. He met Aquila and his wife Priscilla. Paul lived and worked with them because they were all tent makers. Paul taught in the synagogue. He testified to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ, but they rejected him. Paul said, from now on, I will go to the Gentiles. Crispus was the president of the synagogue there. He and everyone in his household believed in the Lord. Many of the Corinthians who heard Paul believed and were baptized. One night, the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. He said, do not be afraid. Speak out. I am with you. No one will attack you. I have many people in this city. So Paul stayed there and taught the word for a year and six months. Then he went to Syria. Priscilla and Aquila went with him. When they got to Ephesus, Paul left Priscilla and Aquila. He went to the synagogue and spoke with the Jews. They asked him to stay longer, but he left. He said, I will come back to you again if God wills. Then he set sail from Ephesus. He went to Caesarea. He visited the church at Jerusalem and then went back to Antioch. Great job jumping and sitting. They went to many places, strengthening the churches and telling people about Jesus. The churches were getting stronger and larger. Let's see what you remember. As we retrace their trip, see if you can tell me who we read about and what we learned about that person or those people. Paul and Silas went through Syria and Cilicia, Derby, and Lystra. Do you remember what happened there? They met Timothy. He was a believer of Jesus. Paul wanted Timothy to go with him on the trip. They went through the area of Pergia and Galatia. They went through Mysia and Trous. They left for Macedonia. They sailed to the island of Samothrace and then landed at Neapolis and went to Philippi. Do you remember what happened first in Philippi? At the river, they met Lydia. She bought and sold purple cloth. She worshiped God and they told her about Jesus. She and the members of her household trusted in Jesus and were baptized. She asked Paul's group to stay with her, so they did for a little while. Do you remember what else happened in Philippi? Paul and Silas were beaten and put in jail when a slave girl's owners got mad at them. In the middle of the night, while they were praying and singing hymns, an earthquake shook the jail. They were freed from their chains and the door flew open, but Paul and Silas didn't leave. They were able to tell the jailer about Jesus. The jailer and everyone in his household trusted in Jesus and were baptized. Paul and Silas went through Amphipolis and Apollonia. They went to Thessalonica and to Berea. Silas and Timothy stayed in Berea. Paul went to Athens and then to Corinth. Do you remember what happened in Corinth? Paul met Aquila and his wife Priscilla. Paul lived and worked with them because they were all tent makers. Who else was in Corinth? Crispus was the president of the synagogue there. He and everyone in his household believed in the Lord. While in Corinth, God encouraged Paul through a vision and Paul stayed there and taught the word for a year and a half. Then he went to Syria, Ephesus, and Caesarea. He visited the church at Jerusalem and then went back to Antioch. What a trip! Paul went to so many places to tell people about Jesus.
And he didn't have an airplane or a train or even a car to take him places. The ships he sailed on were not nice like the ones we have today. Traveling took a long time and was difficult. We read short sentences about it like it was easy. It wasn't easy, but it was important. Everyone needs to hear the truth about Jesus. There is no other way to be saved than by grace through faith in Him. Everywhere Paul went, he told people about Jesus. Those who trusted in Jesus were changed forever, and they could go on to tell other people about Jesus. God was working, and the church was growing. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. I see that God is omniscient. He knows all things about all things for all time. He knew what was going to happen with Paul. He gave Paul wisdom and encouragement so Paul would continue on in the work God had for him to do. God knows us and what will happen in our lives too. He can encourage us and give us wisdom too. But we don't have to wait for a vision from God. He has already given us His Word. Literally, this is God's Word. I see that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Messiah God promised to send. Jesus saves everyone who trusts in Him. The church started out in Jerusalem, and the first church members were mainly Jewish. But Jesus didn't come only to save the Jews. The truth about Jesus spread and spread, and many people, both Jewish and non-Jewish, turned to Jesus. Believe in Jesus and be saved. I see that God works through believers. Paul and Silas started on this trip. Timothy joined them for a while. Lydia and Priscilla and Aquila gave Paul a place to stay. Some people will go to other places to tell people about Jesus. Other people can support those who go. All of us can tell the people around us about Jesus. God has work for all of us to do. God works through believers to accomplish His will. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder! The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on purple. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, why did some people reject Paul's message? God wants everyone to trust in Jesus, but not everyone will. Some people don't want to admit that they are sinners who need to be saved. Some people want to live life their own way and not follow God as Lord. Some of the people we read about were so convinced that their religion was right, they wanted to stop people from talking about Jesus. But ultimately, the ability to understand the truth about Jesus and to trust in Him is a gift from God. God opens the hearts of some people to accept the truth. The Holy Spirit stirs in us the desire and ability to trust in Jesus. Some people won't follow the Spirit's leading. Other people do. We do not have the ability to save people. We can pray for people to be saved, and we can tell them about Jesus. But only God can actually save them. Even if people reject the truth at first, we can continue to pray for them and can continue to tell them about Jesus. We can trust God to work in their lives and to save everyone who was willing to trust in Jesus. Paul went to many places telling people about Jesus and helping the churches. The truth of the gospel was spreading and the church was growing. It was true then and it is true today. Everyone needs to know about Jesus and Jesus saves everyone who will trust in Him. God has work for all of us to do. Will you be faithful to do the work God has for you to do? Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for sending people to tell others about Jesus. Thank you for the grace to trust in Jesus. Please give us the courage to tell others about Jesus and please work in the hearts of people so they will believe. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time, and I hope you will join me next time for Bible Time with Aunt JJ. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and go to BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ!